Have you noticed how everyone is seemingly an expert? I'm an expert, you're an expert. And granted, that's true to a certain extent. We're all experts at being ourselves. And it's funny, when it comes to advice or feedback in general, something that I like to keep in mind or the way I like to look at it is that everything is theoretical until you apply it to your own life. When you start making content, you start putting yourself out there, especially if you do videos like I do, just sharing my experience. At least that's what I mainly try to do, talk about my experience and how I'm doing things, not necessarily how you should do things. Maybe it comes across like that sometimes. I'm working on getting to that balance, but essentially when you start talking about what you're doing, what you're going through, or how people should do certain things, there's gonna be three types of reaction. Either indifference, which is the worst you can get, and then you can either get a positive neg negative reaction to what it is that you're saying or sharing, whatever. So, mainly, like I said, I try to talk about my experience and what I'm going through, talk about the things that I've done or how I think about things and approach things. In general, and this is not just the way I look at it when it comes to me giving advice, but when I also receive advice or any form of feedback, I always like to consider everything that is presented to me, everything. Now, whether or not I decide to implement what I'm receiving, the advice or feedback that I'm receiving, that's a totally different story. And that's something that I believe it's true in the sense that you should always consider the source before you take action on, on any advice that you get or hear or find. For example, I've made videos talking about how I approach certain things when it comes to productivity or my mindset towards maybe hard work, money, etc. That's how I approach it. That's my belief, that's my experience, or at least what, how I'm tackling or undertaking certain situations. But I'm not saying that's how you or anyone else should do what I'm doing. There are certain things, of course, that will yield better results than others. But in general, if your goals don't align with mine or your goals don't align with the source of the feedback or the advice, then by all means, take what is useful to you, if anything, and discard the rest. And it's funny because everyone has an opinion and now with social media, you can freely share that opinion, which is extreme leverage. But oftentimes, the people who don't have their own platform, who don't take the initiative to put themselves out, put themselves out there, make content, share what they think or share their story are the very same ones who comment to the, the very first ones to comment to disagree and it's interesting it's very very interesting by all means um, if there's an alternative approach just alternative way of thinking or looking at things i love discussion i love being exposed to different viewpoints because i learn more and it makes me better and of course why wouldn't i want that but essentially I've, and I would say I wasn't always like this. I would say it's been probably the past few years what I've realized that all feedback is essentially worth listening to because people outside of yourself are going to be able to point out or see certain blind spots that us as an individual or just because we're on our own perspective, we're not probably going to be exposed to or be aware of. That's why I've learned that even if it sometimes hurts to let's say some advice or feedback in general that I don't particularly enjoy, it might be better to, hey, just listen to it because you never know what you might learn. That's, that's something that I've, I've come to realize that. Take in, because that's how you learn. You can learn not only from your own perspective, but from other ones, other people's perspectives. And you can actually accelerate the learning process. But still, that does not mean that there is a one size fits all for everything. So. I wanted to make a video on that point just because I think that's a really great quote to live by. At least that's the approach that I take. Just everything is worth considering, but not everything is worth implementing. I'm trying to remember where I, it's a quote I've read. I can't really remember where I read it, 
but it impacted me to the point where I added it to a list of impactful quotes that I find interesting. So yeah, that is the video for today. Fun fact, this is the second time I recorded this video because I actually recorded this video last night and I thought I had airdropped it to my laptop, but apparently it didn't and I ended up just deleting it, the video off my phone. So this is the second take of the video. So fun fact for you. But anyways, that is the video for today. Thank you for watching as always. Leave a comment below, share your thoughts, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.